Yep, it's me, Bull Celery. Welcome to the channel. Hello, everybody. Got a uh, another one v one for you against Gamer Twenty One A on Hades Pond. It's an unranked match. Trying to play better people, you know. Playing better people makes you better. Uh, I'd say the first few misses match go pretty well, and then he kind of stomps me, but. This map, I struggle with these macro maps, so I've been trying to play it more. I'm not saying I'm great at not macro maps, but I'm definitely better at them. A little bit of AFK there. Oh, the music's glitching out. Yep. Doing core, core vehicles against armed vehicles. I was playing bots in this map, but I think vehicles are strong as there's so much metal. Might as well go vehicles. The real problem on this map is energy for me. Let's see what he opens with. He's going three scouts, three cons, five blitz, two, two con, five blitz. Versus I'm going scout con, re scout con. He's getting way more build power out quicker. I think I can be greedier on these maps. A little bit more of AFK here. Trying to work on my base building as well. Leave lanes open and stuff to get around the map. As soon as he got three scouts out, con's coming up. I'm putting his LLT here. I think I, think I could put an LLT here. Before I leave base, I think that'd be a good move. <gasps> but also, I'm staying in base longer because I'm leaving with this first con I send out while he... Oh, I guess he's leaving as well. Is he? Maybe not. Maybe he's not leaving. So he's actually grabbing this metal extractor back here. Which I find weird. But, I guess it works. More metal to more metal. Let's go get cleaned up. He's harassing me down here quite well. Yeah, LT right there would have been great. So he's, he's already leaving base. He's one mechs up on me. So he's got his three cons out. He must leave with one of these. Right? Maybe not. I have no defense in my base. That one LT makes a difference. So he does leave with his third con. Grabbing all the metal extractors. I kind of just skip to the triples and then go around. Maybe I should grab them all. Yeah, see I got one con building. There's going to be another one coming out to stay on the factory, but... But I'm also doing this double LT here. Versus... Gamer is just doing t one, so he's gonna be able to expand faster. And this build power here is what's gonna. Oh, he leaves with that one. Let's get the radar up and probably comes back. Yeah. He's putting my scouts in places where they can see what's coming. That way, I can position my units if they get blown up. No e scaling yet out of gamer. Not only me either. I'm kind of slapping on some wins here as I need it. As well as building solar with my commander. Yeah, I see these blitzes are coming, so I send these incisors that way. And then moving my scouts down just so this is protected, so I see if anything's coming from that way. So he's getting his fourth, con fifth con out while I still only have three. Yeah, I think I can be greedier. This con comes out, comes to assist. This one starts scaling wind. This guy's building the con turret and coming back. Yeah, he's, he's doing one LT per. Definitely can expand faster that way. This double LT setup protects you from scouts quite a bit better though. 
I think I need to... At least when I'm playing these high-ranked guys, I kind of got to try to play high, like I'm reacting well to my radar. We shut down this movement. He's going to tr try and come this way now. He's all easy to clean up that blitz. Won't lose a max out of that. Yeah, you can see he's already moving. I'm still sitting here because I'm doing double LT. But he also has this metal extractor and this one, so he is ahead of me on metal. My expanding con is further, but once again, he's already grabbed this metal extractor and this one, and has this one. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna do that. I think grab this, grab all the metal extractors. I think we lose the radar, but the blitz goes down. We might lose this metal extractor as well. Yeah, we definitely do. Almost save it. Yeah, you can see he's got Con turned out. Getting some solars down. It's because he's got metal and not enough energy at the moment. It's kind of smart. I like his base design too. Playing quite defensive here. Probably go for some run bys. I got quite a bit of units. We are going to go from here. Got the scout assisting this guy, so I have vision in front of me, so I don't have to just run into things blindly. It's a lot more build power here. You can see his E is quite a bit better than mine. Got that con turret out already. We're going for ours here. And we'll start scaling. Really clean the setup though from his base. Another con turret. He's got a second con turn coming up. Putting solars down as he needs them. Might as well. We got a lot of metal on this map. This is quite unfortunate here. I'm not really looking over here. This deacon's them all down. Yep, unfortunate. Clean up that scout from him. Yeah, see, he's not skipping any metal extractors. Closing them, he's closing this off nicely as well. Got that covered up. And the edge. Yeah, I've been playing quite, I don't know, I get, I've almost been playing quite defensively recently. I think it's because I'm trying to play this map. It's kind of going into my other game. Big army coming this way. I should see it. I don't think I react to it very quickly though. Yeah, no. Nothing, nothing happened in there. Significantly behind on build power. You know, but energy storage. Got nothing to assist in my factory right now, that's definitely a mistake. Cleaned up one of his mechs, we're gonna try to run by on the side here, but I think I cut this too quickly. Yeah. This hurts here. That's gonna set us back quite a bit. We do have these ones, we just lost the triple spot though. We're pretty even, maybe not even. He's got a few more just because he expands all of them. 29 versus 17. Oh, he's way ahead, actually. Where does he get those extra runs from? Probably because he didn't lose these three. I've lost five mixes here, and then he's gained this one. I don't know why I didn't build this one. Lose this constructor here. I need to be sending up a constructor already. Fix that. Building some solars here. Yeah, we lose another little constructor, metal extractor. Won't lose any of those metal extractors. You can see he's got a lot more build power here. He's got, was that, five cons right there assisting? Got two building wind. He's got a four construction turrets already. 
He's severely behind in build power. He's still floating a lot of metal as well, but... I secured all of his metal extractors there. I'm doubling back with my commander to grab those. Haven't sent out a new construction bot to the south here. Stream of units coming across the map. Trying to see if I can find any damage here. He's going T2 now. Wind's been pretty nice to us this game. I notice he has no E storage. Which building this might hurt, but I think he's plenty ahead that it won't matter too much. I'm scouting around to scout here. This really behind the units, cause I think, is a factor of not having no build power. See, I only have four con turrets. I think that's all he had as well, wasn't it? He's got six. Well, six ones being built. He's scaling them up. It's kind of downfall here. It's already moved on to stouts. I could definitely be there as well. I got the metal income. I think I may switch here, yeah. Five stout, two brute. Um, Truly makes a scout in there. He's trying to get some damage here. Slow him down. Do a little bit of eco damage. He's got a lot more done to me though. He's been ahead for quite a while. Sending these guys across looking for some more damage. Let me get some nice D guns off here. My incisor should be faster than these guys, I think. Yeah, he's getting a nice cutoff there, though. Got some eco damage done. We took six spots out, taking a few more maxes. Might get these three as well. I lost this again, though. That hurts. And this triple spot next to my base. A lot of reclaim here, though. Don't really need metal. I need more build. I'm really behind on build power. We do get those triple. A little bit pretty even on metal now and energy. We got this guy coming late, coming back now. I'd like to see this guy coming here already. Our commander moving up. See gamers heading back. Grab those triple. It's probably got a con on its way over here. No, don't see a con. It does have bulls coming out though. Doesn't really have the energy for it. See, he's building this. Kind of leaves a lane right there, too, almost looks like. So I'd say we're kind of catching up in units. 19. 19. But he does have tigers and bulls coming out now. We're pretty even on units. Maybe not, actually. Oh. Yeah, I'd say we are. Just. He has T2 units. And units in more places. I could definitely be pre positioning my units better. Going for a push here. But he's got a bull coming. He's got these guys coming. I'm moving up that way. I do have Shuri's out now, but the Jaguars do have AA, so it's not going to be the best time for us. I think they got some high MP resist as well. Uh. I can't see it right now. We do get this bull stun, so we will take that out, but running to bull here. Jan's behind us. Bull just doesn't take damage. Just doesn't take damage. Just gonna keep trying to trudge forwards here. But oh, we're getting surrounded here. I think I clean up most of these guys, and then this Janus just sits here and snipes me because I look away. We got some pretty good D-guns off there. Yeah, that Janus shot hurt. Yeah, I think this is the one that kills me here. It rolls in. Yep. Yeah, I'm definitely not even looking either. That was that match. Did did all right. This definitely I need to scale be build power way faster. Thanks for watching, guys. <clears> Thank <throat>